You need to know the difference between vectors and scalars in your GCSE and your A-level physics, but why are they important? Okay, so here's a couple of really simple demonstrations why that might be. Vectors and scalars are so simple, it's just that vectors have size and direction and scalars only have size. Why does it matter then? Well, let's take the difference between a scalar and a vector quantity. One of the most simple to understand would be speed. No matter which angle I shoot this crossbow at, the dart is going to leave with the same speed. But clearly, the range of the projectile also depends on the angle that I shoot it at. So hopefully that makes sense to you that there is a really important distinction in the behavior of that physical thing dependent on the angle. So speed is not enough. A scalar quantity is not enough to us, for us to understand what's really going on with the crossbow. Another good example that I like is Newton's third law, okay, which is the law of conservation of momentum. Now, Newton's third law states, well, that forces have equal and opposite reactions, yes, but also a consequence of that is this um, law of conservation of momentum. What do we mean by that? Well, these two objects have the same mass. So when they exert equal and opposite forces on each other, they move apart with the same speed. But it's not always the case that objects exerting the same force on each other will move apart with the same speed. If I increase the mass of one of them, then you can see that one of them has a higher speed than the other. And in fact, what we say, therefore, is that momentum is conserved. They had equal but opposite momenta, okay, which means that because I've doubled the mass here, I have to half the velocity here. Now, this would be impossible to explain if we didn't have a positive velocity and a negative velocity. In other words, a size, one and a half, let's say, and a direction, positive and negative. So here is a list of scalars and vectors. I suggest that you learn them and that you try and understand this is an important distinction to make. Sometimes they will use the term velocity or use the term speed and there's an important distinction between those two terms. This has been Gorilla Physics. I'm Kit Best Masters and we're all about you understand your physics more so you enjoy it more so you get more confident and then do better in your exams.